let's move on to the head. And where we left off last time is, so all of this is gonna pipe into our apex rig, right? So let's call this apex. This is where all of our apex rigging is gonna go. Let's jump up to the head and let's start splitting up these sections here. So I'm gonna grab a lot of these pieces and I'm going to extract the centroids from say the eyes and the head and this little cap up here. Uh, and then we're gonna use those as joints to skin our geometry onto. And then we're gonna grab those joints with an apex and be able to animate them. So let's start grabbing these objects one by one. So let's jump over here where I split the head from the rest of the geometry. I'm gonna make sure that primitive selection is selected and that we're selecting by groups. So we'll start off with the eyes. I'm gonna select both of those and split. So now we have our eyes and I'm going to extract the centroid, make sure that the name attribute is down and we want to transfer our name attributes. Okay, and once this is down, I'm gonna put down a rig doctor and initialize the transforms. So now these are joints. These joints are ready to go. So we have our eyes. Let's move on to, let's get rid of all those names. Let's move on to these shoulder pieces here. So let's go back to our selection mode, select the shoulder, both of those shoulders, split. Whoops, not a height field. Let's try that one more time. So select the shoulder, other shoulder, split. There we go. And we'll just grab these because they're just going to be used the same way. Okay, so we have our shoulder joints. One more. I'm going to grab this head cap here. Split that. Grab these two. Do the same thing. And there we go. So now we have these three sets of joints. So within the split, I now want to split up the antennae. And I'm going to rig these a little bit differently. Everything else is going to be um, rigged as a rigid body, so they're not going to flex or bend, but the antennae are. So I'm going to split these up and do them a different way. So go back into selection, just like that, and split. So to get this, I'm going to use the same technique I used to get joints for the spine or rather to create joints for the spine so we have our center line set up here right so i'm going to just copy and paste and automatically right because if i go in here if i see my setup again let's create a null up top we're bringing this in we're creating the bound and we're getting that line that goes from top to bottom now one thing about this shape is that uh, there's this bottom piece here, which is kind of throwing off the joint a little bit. So or rather the the uh, placement of the joint, right? Because if it's getting the center line, it's getting like the bound shape, right? It's creating a bounding box around the shape. But this is kind of throwing off the center line of this tube, this little piece down here. So uh, it's throwing off the line of our joint. So I'm just going to I have a little center pivot and preset here. And I'm just gonna just muscle that back into place. Let's do this. Okay. Now let's go to the back. All right. Let me go to the side here. Okay. So now it's right in the center. So I want a few joints within this piece, within the antenna, because I want it to flex. I want it to be nice and flexible. So I'm going to put down a resample. Let's show our points here. Let's actually show the number of points here. So Let's use maximum segments so we can be a little bit more exact about how many points we want. And let's put down about 12 points, zero to 11. Let's put down an attribute wrangle so we can name these points. So name equals antenna. I think that's how you spell antenna. It is how you spell antenna. So that will be antenna underscore plus itoa. We want the point number and I'm going to put down an R so that we know that this is the right side because I'm going to mirror these joints over. That's why I'm only working on one side and I'm going to mirror the joints over to the other antenna. Okay. I'm going to put an underscore 
behind this R here. Okay, so now we have antenna one, antenna two, three, R. Fantastic. Rig doctor, as always, initialize the transforms. And last, we'll put down a skeleton mirror. So now we mirror our joints over. And I want to make sure that I make my naming conventions correct. So within the naming over here, uh, where it says token position, we want to look for the end, right? Because the token that we're looking for is the R. So we want to find the R token and then replace it with the L token. So now we have proper naming scheme on our antenna joints. So let's take all of these joints and we're going to merge them together. Oops, I accidentally grabbed that rig doctor. So now all these joints exist as one object. And we need one more joint for our head. And that's the head joint. But instead of making a head joint, I'm actually going to grab the top joint from our spine and duplicate it and then use that as our head joint. So the head joint will sit exactly at the same position as the last joint on our spine. So I'm going to take our spine skeleton. This is our spine skeleton right here. Let's look at the names. So we want spine three, right? That's the, that's the, the joint that we want. So let's see, I'm going to take an object merge, put that down, put the skeleton into there. Let's actually call this spine skeleton. And I'm going to say spine scale in. And again, I'm going to make this blue and round because I know it's an input. Whoops. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, if, if you have a an object or a node stuck inside of um, a box here. Sometimes it's hard to get it out. Like it really doesn't want to get out. So one little thing you can do is just cut it and paste it. And then you can get it out that way. All right. So we want to split that head joint, right? Or um, this joint that is going to be used as the head. So let's grab it within our split node. We're going to say name equals spine underscore three. Make it a point. And there it is. Let's rename it. So point class, and we're going to name it head. All right, go on here. And I'm just going to put that up top. Just make that nice and cleanly. So really quick, I'm going to set up uh, some tags here, or rather a tag, because I want all of these joints to be able to have FK control. And to do that, I'm just going to set up a quick tag, except for the head, I don't want to be able to control the head because the spine is going to be controlling the head eventually. So I'm going to put down an attribute wrangle and do our little trick here. So it's S bracket tags, and I'm going to give this the FK tag. All right, so now everything is FK. But I don't want everything to be FK. I want to exclude the head. So I'm going to put down star and exclude name equals head. Okay, cool. So if we look down here in our attribute spreadsheet, everything is FK and except for our head here. Perfect. Set FK. So now that we have all of our joints set up, let's do some simple parenting. I'm going to put down a parent joint. And you could do this by, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can do this by hand. Uh, you know, you can do it this way. If you're kind of old school, you can, you know, do it this way and then select a specific joint. Or uh, you can do it this way, which I like to do is going into the rig tree. And this is more Maya friendly. If you if you use Maya, this is typically like a way you would do it. So we're going to parent everything into the head here. So head into there, and then the antenna into the head. Okay, so let's put down a rig pose. And let's try this out. And it should just be working. Let's try our antenna. Everything looks good and ready to go. We can get rid of this rig pose. So now that we have our head skeleton, all parented and ready to be animated, let's skin it to the actual geometry. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to scoot that over. And Let's see. So this is our actual head geometry right here. This is our head node. And let's get rid of our names. So I'm going to take this and drag it out, put down a null, 
just so I can have something to work, just something attached here. Just do a bit of house cleaning. Keep my node tree nice and clean. So we drag that down. We're gonna call that head geo. So we're going to skin this in two different ways. We're gonna split up the antenna and these are going to be skinned in uh, with using a bone capture by harmonic so that they're flexible. And everything else is gonna be skinned using a capture pack geometry node, which uh, will make them non-flexible but much easier to mm, work with. It's nice and fast and speedy. So we need to split these two up. So we're gonna grab the antenna. I'm actually gonna invert this because I want our head to come down this way and the antenna to go that way. All right, so let's do the head first and then we'll focus on the antenna. Let's put that on null. Let's call this head scale. Now that these two are separated, Let's start with the head. So we'll put down a capture pack geometry, but first let's actually pack the geometry. Wait, no, we want to pack, put that into there. We want to use the name. So we have all these pieces in here. We want to transfer the attributes name and let's transfer the groups as well so that we keep all of our groups and the names. All right, let's put this into here and then we put our skeleton into the right input. So now we can go ahead and get started. So. Let's put down, let's see, we'll use the name attribute down here. So we'll do I. Okay, so our left eye is captured. I'll just copy and paste that, turn that to R. Okay, so now both of our eyes are captured. Let's do the cap here. So just select this. All right, copy and paste. And we'll do our shoulder. We want to grab this little section there. Okay, and we'll grab this because the name of the joint is the shoulder R. Let's do one more and we'll grab that. So now we just gotta get the head. So let's grab everything that's going to be connected to the head. It's all of this, these eye rings, and that should be everything. Hit enter and select our head joint. Okay, so let's debug this. Let's throw down a bone to form and throw in the skeleton, put down a rig pose and Let's see how this is working. Okay, so the head is moving around. Shoulders are looking good. The head cap is looking good. And what about our eyes? So our eyes are coming out. Let's see, let's check the other one. Awesome. So this is properly skinned. So now that our head is skinned, let's move on to the antenna. Okay, so let's move this down a little bit. I'm gonna need a little space. One thing we wanna do is I want to group the antennae. Actually, let's put the group up here. Okay. Antennae. We'll call these antenna joints. All right. And make sure that these are points. Let's throw down a bone capture lines. All right. We'll take this there and let's clean this up a little bit. All right. So we have our bone capture lines. This is all set up, but we want to grab this specific group, right? Because we don't want to connect to the head at all, just to the antenna joints. So with our antenna selected, we'll put down a tet in bed. So geometry goes into the left, the joints go into the right. All right, so now we have our tet mesh that's ready for skinning. And last, we'll put down a bone capture by harmonic. So the original geometry goes into the left and the tet mesh goes into the right. All right, so now our antenna are skinned. Now let's throw this into our bone to form and see how that's looking. And that's looking pretty good. Mm, I think we could smooth that out a little bit. So let's put down a smooth, let's have our bone to form selected. And as before with our spine, let's grab our bone capture attribute and just turn up the smooth here. And maybe I'll keep the filter quality down or up rather, and just adjust this until I get something that I like. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's uh, mess with this a little bit more. Let's see, how's this looking? Okay, that's not looking too bad. I can work with that. At a distance, it looks good. But in order for it to look really good, I'd have to subdivide the model, which is okay, but we'll leave it that way. All right, so our antenna are skinned and our head is skinned. Let's unpack 
the output so we get all of our shaders back. And now we can take these two skin models and simply merge them. And now we have our skinned head mesh. Let's put this into a null. All right, this is our little debugging deform here. And let's take the head skeleton. Okay, what did I call my spine over here? I just wanna see, okay. I'm just gonna call it that because this is gonna be called head skeleton, head geo skinned. All right, so these are gonna be our final outputs. Okay, so our skeleton mesh is gonna go over here and the skinned mesh is gonna go there. So now we have our skinned, uh, our skin spine with our head and we have our spine and head joints. Now let's set up a parent here because we want our head to be parented to that last joint on the spine. So let's open up our rig tree. Let's go to spine three and we'll throw the head onto spine three. And there we go. So now if I put down a bone to form here, let's see what this looks like. It's always good to debug and make sure that things are happening as you hope they would. Okay, so let's grab spine three. Let's move that up. And that's looking perfect. That's exactly what I want. And spine two should serve as like a center of gravity control. We can move our antenna around. Come on. It's kind of hard to select with rig pose. There we go. Awesome. Super cool. So we'll leave this over here, this bone deform, just in case we need it again. And now everything is being packed into our pack folder. A little bit more housekeeping. Try to keep everything neat and tidy. Let's box that up. Okay, great. So our head is done and ready to go. Now, next thing we're gonna do is the waist. And once we have our waist, it's gonna look very similar. We're gonna parent the waist into our bottom joint here on a spine zero. So it's gonna look pretty similar to our head. So in the next video, we'll go ahead and take care of the waist.